Is it running? Alright, let's do this my way. Alright, alright. Alright, baby, we back once a motherfucking again. I have that, um, 6.19 goddamn my way. The motherfucker just got a, uh, a baby buff onto his flight. Well, it didn't get it. He, he got his Phoenix back to what it used to be, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's a good sign uh, that the goddamn might be back. No, what it uh, means is that clear times early game are going to be better, but. Now they upped him. They need to put Volibear's shit back to what it used to be because nerfing Volibear, you know, it's like, what the fuck? Like, why are you nerfing a goddamn bear? Like, wh what about all these other champions that can fly across the goddamn screen, you know? Not, I'm not talking about Nocturne. I'm talking about, like, you know, the junglers had to play, like, like Rek'Sai. He's got an ulti that can get out. Pretty much a built-in teleport. It's fucking bullshit. And blah, blah, blah. And there's, you can, you know, name all the Gragas, all that. You might as well just nerf all them into the ground. Because you, if, if you just use your fucking brain, you get places. Um, Volibear is a champion where, you know, you gank a lane. Dude's overextending. You walk up to him. You hit slow. He flashes. You don't even have to flash. You kill him. And then you run a pinata on his ass. And then you beat his ass up. You get the gold. And after that, you learn the game and how to carry a fucking game. And then, boom, you take the game into your own hands. And you're a fucking winner. That simple. So what I'm going to show you this game uh, in this my way is how to fucking win a fucking game. And, you know, when it comes to decision making and all that. Nasty, thank you for the 420, man. I appreciate that. I will uh, I will uh, answer that after uh, the game. Sup, homie. What Just up? won my promos to gold thanks to your teachings. Okay. Thanks for the tips, coach. Oh, no problem, man. Good shit. Good shit. All right. So we take a look at the enemy team comp. They have an Azarel. They have a Zyra. Uh, Morgana. Uh, knock and knock, and then uh, really, uh, so fuck them, fuck, fuck all those champions. I'm just gonna focus on my game. So here's another thing: we focus on your own game, like like nothing else matters. I don't give a fuck. I, I you know I say this even at this elo, I, I I do the same thing. Fuck everybody. It does not matter. Just focus on your game. Don't worry about anything. There are gonna be struggles. I'm gonna teach you guys how to capitalize on people's mistakes and carry motherfuckers. Now, when it comes down to covering lanes and all that, I'm gonna show you all that. So here, I went ahead and got Tiger Stance level two. Why? Because I was full HP after uh, doing Krugs. So level two after Krugs. Um, full HP. Uh, into Tiger means a lot more attack speed, more uh, plus my monkey's agility, more stuns from the passive. And I want to go ahead and uh, go straight. And as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of HP back from the red buff. I want to go straight to this because Smite's going to be up. Um, oh, that's my mouse. Okay, so my mouse, does it? do you see the white pointer? How come the l replays don't have the regular? All right, so it, I, when it's like this, it drags off my monitor. So if you see me like like not moving because my mouse is all the way to the left, but eh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to keep control of this keep it locked on the deer and I'm gonna keep it locked on to myself and I'll tell you when you need to like kind of look around well actually no you should always look around you know for me I know what the fuck I'm doing so here we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look now Aurelia I didn't feel like it was warded I felt like there was a couple times when I was taking a look that she wanted to drop a ward because um, you never know they could be ghosting me that's another thing so I'm just gonna chill in this bush so right there, she tried to drop a ward. So kind of, you know, I might have kind of made it obvious that, you know, I could be here, but instead he needs to back off. My top laner needs to back off. So right here, she wants to drop a ward, and I think she actually walked back down because she's like, oh fuck. So she walked back down, didn't see me. Right there, drop the stun, and then boom, you apply the red buff, and after this, she stunned me. Now here, when you walk her down, just in case GP doesn't have enough damage. You want to wait. See, okay, I drop a bear sense. And the reason why I drop a bear sense, I already got stunned by Aurelia, right? So she can't stun me. Uh, a bum, a chuck, thing with a 420. And then JP was there anyway, so it didn't matter. So that's a free kill right there. So we're good. Did, I did you some. start off maining Twitch cause of your favorite Twitch main, Vampiro? Can we get some no, movie no, time I didn't. with some Vampiro LVL1 strats, Kappa? <laughs> oh my god, those level 1 strats? I remember that shit, man. Vampiro used to fucking just run inside uh, your jungle. He would always ba ping your team to go help him. But after the first blood, I decided to full clear everything. In your elos, what I want you to do after getting this kill is push the waves out. 
push everything and tax his wave. After you tax it, don't look to try to gank another lane unless it's blatantly obvious and it's fucking free. But if it's not, if you see Morgana that low and he's that low, just tell your mid laner to back and just hit the rotations. Avoid any type of fucking, you know, getting counter ganked. You know, and, and create more problems for yourself. Just tell him the back. He backs and he leaves and he doesn't die by knock. And if he does, oh well, you told him the back. But here, after clear everything, four camps plus tax and top and getting a kill, and of course the three camps you did early, is probably going to equal level five before the five minute mark. And if you're level five before the five minute mark, that means you're going to be very, very, very strong. And when it comes to items and what items to buy, I'll show you in a second. And right there, look. Look at this shit. There's nothing I could have done here. I'm not going to sit there with two bars and look at them. I'm going to instantly back and say, yes, I see what's going on down here. It's only five minutes in. There's no need to rush anything. We chill right now. All right, so we back. I'm very close to level 5. Grom's going to spawn. I'm not going to gank right now. There's nothing for me to pick up. This dude's throwing balls around. And you'll see, you'll see the ways of the gates. You will see. And then after here, another camp. Six minutes in. Alright, another camp. Blah, 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 blah. Speed it up. And then another camp. Now here. Look at him. Like, why would he go up top? Because he is looking to outplay Morgana. Go on top side. Rather than him being right at the start of this. Being right here and walking right here. He would rather go up to, so, that, so that he can fight. I'm not there to back him up, plus it's a Morgana. And then Nocturne comes flying in. So now the next step is looking at mid lane after seeing your mid just get dropped because he's trying to outplay and do something uh, to make himself look good or I don't fucking know. Who the fuck knows? So I know that Morgana's going to push this. So here what I wanted to do if this wave made it to the tower is I don't want to hold this wave, right? I don't want to come around here and hit this. I'd rather back and get items and take the experience while sitting right here. But I saw a caddy wave here because I use my eyeballs. And I what do I tell myself? Oh, I want that. And then what I, when I look to see if, if uh, um, the eel is going to be able to make it back into lane, he is not going to be able to make it back into lane. So that means I'm going to come over here and loop around. And that's going to be seconds when uh, my blue is about to spawn and my top side jungle. So here you see the eel. And then that I'm level 6 at the 722 mark. And look at this experience. Just look at the bar. See, we're getting paid right now. I missed the caddy because the thing did extra damage to the fucking caddy. It's fucking bullshit. So I went from what? A quarter to 75% just by holding the wave. By holding the wave. Not only that, look at this. Look at this. Boom. I just did this camp. Doing that rotation. Pick that up. Oh, shit. Blue's about to spawn. Pump fake in the back. And then boom. Level 7 at the fucking 8 minute mark. Look at Aurelia. 6. Nocturne. 7. Well, he's been farming to level 6 just like me. But, of course, I'll be a little bit stronger. Nocturne actually power spiking with a 201. Maybe he can definitely kill me. But, of course, I'm not going to try to fight him if I know I can't handle him. Alright, so my mouse is fucking doing crazy shit. And here's another wave that I was able to pick up too. So I pick up another wave. I'm very close to level 8 right now. Alright, Aurelia going into my jungle. And let's talk up. Fuck. Oh, the fuck that just happened? Oh, I just hit enter. All right. All right. I went back. Um, I got my jungle light in my boots at, on my first buy. Um, and then I pick up a no mantle, a cloth armor, and a glaze. The frozen heart is just going to reduce the tax, but it give me a lot of armor and a lot of mana to spam more abilities. And if it keeps me alive, especially since I'm summoner's insight, that equals motherfucking ins and outs and more DPS either by my team peeling off me or more damage coming out from me, but not... Like, you know, damage per second where it, and if I was going Tiger Sense, I'd beast the fuck out of everybody. Um, but I'd probably die because I probably wouldn't rush a Frozen Heart on Tiger. So those are things you have to understand. I'm playing Phoenix. I'm going to be able to stay alive more, spam more turtles, spam more flames, uh, keep that monkey's agilities rolling. So I have the extra movement speed from that, the attack speed. And that right there is, is and it, regardless if you don't win fights, like I said, you'll know the ways of, of winning games. Now here, my Braum lands a fucking Q onto... Uh, uh, what do you call it? But as you can see, I didn't go to look at him because those two decisions right there was really bad. Aurelia is over here chilling, relaxing, and all Brahm and Lebron had to do is sit inside this dragon pit with me so that, you know, they don't give up two fucking uh, kills to enemy team. But me, I just really want this dragon. I take it and I get the fuck out of, out of this. Remember, your bot lane is failing really, really, really hard. So do not get baited into him. Do not force yourself or, you know, listen to their, you know, 
baby moaning, telling you to help them. So here I fuck up. So I drop the stun. I was thinking I should have just gone for Ezreal. Yeah, I should have just gone for Ezreal. I fucked up. I thought I can kill her fast enough, but these double plants. And I say flash here. Do not use flash. At this point, I'm dead. But you know what I tell myself? You guys are probably saying, oh, Jake, you're freaking bad. No. It's like, um... More armor. More armor means that this dude's going to be useless. Yes, he did pick up a kill, but he still has to go through me. He still has to analyze the situation and how this game could turn out. And if this game turns out the way it turned out where we, you know, I breached the whole fucking game, then they're pretty much completely fucked. Completely fucked. Because he needs a Last Whisper, a Blade of the Rune King, uh, that, and look at this. This is my bot lane, guys. This is my bot lane. Look at him. Like, why would, why, why would they go out to fight like that? Because that's just the nature, man. Trust me, I play bot lane too, and I want to throw down. You know, I play with the support that fucking, you know, killed me. My own support fucking killed me by throwing, you know, enemy AD carries onto me. But, you know, that's just the name of the game in this bot lane. You know, you can cry about it. The, the, the really, really higher elos when, you know, they're failing and feeding and not let other people uh, uh, throw down. But that's the thing about bot lane. The higher elo you go, the more they're going to throw down like this. And if you're going to play a champion like Udyr, then you need to fucking learn how to fucking be selfish, be greedy in here. Um, Alright, I should be fine here. Yeah, you have to be greedy. If you don't learn how to play that style of not giving a fuck, don't play the champion. Just don't play it. It's like you're, you're just wasting time. So here, I don't want to waste any time um, uh, standing around, while leave around. But what I do do is I smite that. Because when I smite that, I get 20 stacks on top of my Strength of the Ages. And LeBron ain't going to cry about that because I'm here to carry the game. If LeBron cries, look, you know, and, and you understand the ways, you know, in your division. Look, just be like, yo, tell him, look, man, I'm here to carry the game. You're, you've already died three times. I'm going to carry this game. You're going to hop on my back. After the game, you're going to be sucking my D. And you're going to shut the fuck up and take the goddamn thing. And that's it. And that's it. But right now, um, we got the EO kill on top, which is good. Uh, Aurelia, uh, no boots. Going for a Triforce, 2 and 3. I'm level 9 right now. Um, oh, I got some free taxations mid. I'm going to take that. No problemos. Uh, two melees. Worth. Uh, and go back to farming. Now, just go back to farm because you're going to see some uh, enemy team. Oh, shit. I need to get on to. All right. Well, that's going down, guys. I got to log in. My patch is done on my other computer. We're about to do plat plub wars versus. Um, or subs versus plebs. Uh, so. That's the right password, you dumb bitch. God damn it. All right, so coming back, kidney rotations up, getting everything. And that's the thing, guys. Listen very closely. When I say do your own thing, be selfish on that. You know, you have to learn the game. I'm learning the game. And we're, and there was a lot of pressure mid lane by Morgana and, or no, I wouldn't say there was a lot of pressure by Morgana, but there's a lot of little skirmishes. Like, uh, the eel wasn't, you know, just trying to farm and getting through those early phases. So that ward just dropped. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh. Uh, back right now, and he wanted me to gank. And if I look at the CS top, 75 to 99, both top laners aren't farming uh, the best. So uh, I just want to get frozen. Hello? All right, so I buy frozen and, and mercs. I didn't know what I wanted to buy. So what I was thinking about doing was I was going to go ahead and what? Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I was thinking, I was like, I thought I bought that lightsaber ages ago, but on my first buy, it didn't let me buy the lightsaber. So, yeah, I was thinking about not finishing uh, Frozen and starting my Triforce, but I said, fuck it, let me just uh, uh, pick up the Frozen, get out of the way. So here, I'm coming to gank. So here, free kill. Now, she's already dead. There's no need for me to go for him. And me running all the movement speed uh, that I can run all my masteries and runs, and then my passive is going to allow me to keep up with this uh, uh, this Ezreal. And plus, he's an AD carry. He's not rushing Triforce. Like, what he should have picked up was Triforce for his first item. Why? Well, you know, because I'm just going to be able to jump on top of you. Here's another thing, too. So with me ganking bot, there's going to be problems here. If we take a look at the eel, the eel has to play all the way back. He has to understand that one, two, three, four, five. That if Aurelia, I mean Morgana, is 
auto pushing straight to this tower there's really nothing he can do so if he calculated me being bought and we just picked up a double kill that the possibilities of him getting dived are pretty high in this situation but he's probably gonna stay because most people want to stay and outplay and or after get fucking butt fucked and start moaning and crying like a little baby um, he'll do that instead but here he was actually kind of far back but he should have right clicked all the way back created distance like down here, if he was walking down here, because there's no Aurelia coming down from this bot side, and he sees Morgana, so if he gets jumped on, then he gets jumped on right here. But he stays top side to where Aurelia can fly in, and boom, he gets binded. And there he should have right clicked up, but he doesn't know how to break hands, and bam. So here, you're going to lose your tower. We got some tower tanking cha uh, enemy champions uh, getting hurt a little bit, and me. I loop all the way around. Just in case this is warded, I want to loop all the way around to see what I can do here. Because when I look at mid lane, they're pretty squishy. And this is actually not that bad of a call to come running down. But if they realize that I'm full HP after this and I have a frozen heart, then I'm going to be able to tank a lot of damage. And then the follow up's going to come in from behind. So here, easy fucking juke on that. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to focus the back line first. The reason why I'm focusing the ba back line first is because Aurelia is already in the front. So Morgana thinking about coming back in, and there is the flame. And I don't know why I wasn't able to get my motherfucking stun off. And then boom, there's a block, and there's a stun. So I'm going to do the same thing. LeBron dies, but who cares? He's been dying all fucking game long. So I'm going to drop the flame. Brom is going to get worked. There's a Q to the back. And I'm still on Aurelia, flaming. Oh, that canceled my fucking, what do you call it? And boom. So, what they, they could have backed to. Here's the thing about them back, and let's see. 19, 14, 17. So, if they never fought that, plus minus the kills that they just picked up. And they got the two towers, too. But, if they would have just taken just uh, one tower, pushed the wave out, and back, and spent their 1400 plus, then they'd be a lot stronger. But instead, they, you know, we, me and GP got the kills. And now look. I've been Boom. watching you breach Gattas and I used that in games. It okay. brought me up from plat two to diamond five. Nice. Thanks, Trick. Good Love shit, man. you, bro. Good Keep shit. it up. We'll do, we'll do. Alright. So four one nocturne. And if you look at his build, Triforce. Oh shit, let me accept this cue. Uh fuck. Alright. Alright, so yeah. Lebron dies, Brom dies, but who cares? Bot lane. It doesn't matter because I'm getting stronger. Now I start my Triforce. Um, that's going to be a nice juicy sheen. A little bit more damage plus the 30% CDR. I am running, uh, let's see, 20, 30. So Triforce is going to be, uh, you know, uh, put me over the CDR limit, but I don't care. It's only 10%. It's, and it's all my masteries anyway, but I'd still fucking uh, do the same thing. It's not a big deal. You can still run the same runes of masteries if you saw it at the beginning of the game. Or if you look up this account and look at the uh, uh, page that I was using. I think it's page 5. If not, I'll put it in this video. Um... Yeah, so don't care about that. You know, Triforce is just really good with the Frozen Heart. You don't have to go Frozen Heart. There are other type of builds to go for, but when they're running a triple AD comp, Triforce is life, especially the early game when you're able to walk through everybody, and it definitely gets underestimated. Or just they just don't understand that you know you're taking that they should do the same thing. Talking about the enemy team, avoiding any type of skirmishes, because I look for like fights to you know drag out later on in the game when the enemy team thinks that they're winning. You know, you gotta think. Well, you know, you gotta understand what they're thinking. You know, if they're thinking, oh, shit, we got this shit. Look at me, man. I'm a fucking base, man. I'm a... And then, and, you know, they keep doing the same thing instead of saying, okay, let's keep it clean from here. They're not going to keep it clean. Don't expect them to keep it clean. Um, and that's your time to shine right now with that frozen heart. And if, you, if you're shining with that frozen heart and it's allowing you to, you know, either peel for your teammates, but we're not looking to peel. But if my teammate benefits from the peelage, then so be it. That's more damage and that's less work for me to do. But if I have to do all the work, I am going to do all the work. You know, that's just the way it is. And this bitch right here. This bitch right here, Nocturne, that's not me. And she needs to respect me too. Look at her, she's the top laner too, and I'm the, I'm a jungler, and I'm two levels above her. Okay, she just, uh, well, I'm one level, well, level and probably a quarter above her. So I'm just doing a little bit of damage, because I can keep going in and out right here. I don't mind tanking. We just got the red buff, burning her, back off. We got, I think we have the uh, pot, throw back in the turtle, and just keep poking her down a little bit. It's kind of like fun when I used to play Tiger Stance, and try to get her to stun you, um, if you can, like you're going for her, and then just back off. Remember, you have red buff too, so you got the, you got the region. And there is a, a double kill going on in the bot lane, but that doesn't really matter. Because, uh, you know, they're stupid for even fighting that. And they're doing the same thing like before. Even if they do pick up kills, they're still giving our teammates kills. And I'm going to be the one holding the gate. So here, we're just going to go ahead and kill Aurelia. Flame. 
Boom. Stun. Just like that. In and out. Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna go to a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Alright baby, we're back once motherfucking again. Hope you enjoyed that, TD. Alright, so here we got something going down around Rift, and they want that. Are they going to be able to get it? It's the question. So there's the slow. They need to back and wait and realize that the ult... What? I don't even know what the fuck that was, but that dude just slid in. So here, I just want my blue, and I'm going to get back out. And I tell my team, look, let's just reset. Stop doing what you're doing. Just stop. Because right there... They got the enemy team to go onto Rift and rot their whole team. Well, two of them were doing it, and then the whole enemy team came to help them out. And then my team could have gotten a fight without me while I was dead, and they could have fucking, boom, lost. And then, boom, it would have been worth it. They would have got Rift. And that time that they wasted trying to get the damn thing uh, is not wasted. But uh, instead, now it becomes wasted time, and we're the team that is losing right now. I just now realize we're losing my 5k goal. 5 fucking K gold. So let's always take a, let's t let's take a look at the uh, 5k gold. And let's also talk about control. Control is, uh, you know, the ways of, you know, having a game into your hand. Like top line, there's nothing I can do here. There's nothing I can do top. I'm not going to go over there and sit there before I started this ground and say, I'm going to hold this line against these. No, I'm just going to let it fall because if it falls, then it makes the enemy team, you know, think about what they need to do next. And if they don't do what the best thing next and the, the thing after taking my tower is to jump onto me just because I showed up and that's what I wanted to do and I looked at my minimap and saw that Brom was maybe coming over there and that I also checked to see if GP's ulti was up because it's going to shower on these motherfuckers not only that you see Nocturne's build is completely shit uh, two items three items uh, that pretty much give him no defensive stats besides the HP from Phage so he's very squishy he does a lot of damage but I have a frozen heart and I'm very close to my force but I'm strength of the ages, and I'm pretty sure he's strength too. If he's not, then he's a fucking dumbass. But look right there. Brom comes in, and I'm just going to sit there and flame and ignore Aurelia. Throw it in a turtle. Look at that turtle stance. That's a turtle stance right there, plus face on the mountain, if I'm not mistaken. So I got a face on the mountain, and then I got turtle stance with frozen heart. And I'm getting hit by two, two champions. Boom. And right there, those two could have just backed and spent their gold and taken that tower and regrouped on, you know, what they need to do to make this game a little bit harder on me. Because that's the only thing that they need to focus on is how to shut me down, how to hold me down, how to keep me at bay, whatever you want to call it. You know, keep me at bay would probably be the best word to use because there ain't no holding me down when, you know, I'm trying to breach the fucking gate. It's okay, bro, get the fuck out of my sight. Um... Now going back out into the field, I'm level 14. Look at everybody's levels too. So we got level 11 and level on the enemy bot lane, 11 on fucking Aurelia, and 12 on Nocturne, and Morgana. But Morgana got the freedom to do whatever the fuck she wanted mid. There's still mistakes, so I'm going to pick up my red buff. I'm going to take that. Dragon's live. So the next dragon is the a Mountain Drake, and I don't know if we go for that. So I don't think we go for that. And I'm just going to say fuck it. So they decide to do it. So here's another thing, too. Now, they're doing a dragon. So think about all the decisions. All of them fighting because they see me on their screen. And they don't just say, okay, fuck that. I'm not going to go on them. And Aurelia is, you know, sadly mistaken with her level 11 ass thinking that she can jump onto me with just a Morgana to back her up. Like, that's not even worth it because there's going to be time, enough time for somebody to come back me up. And there is a ball being thrown and the shield being dropped onto... Aurelia, and then now Zara comes over here. GP drops his ulti. Look at the damage onto Monkey, and boom. So right here, if they would have backed off, they pretty much would have been full HP. Not only that, Ezreal just showed bottom. So watch my quick ass decision making. Watch and learn, boys. What happens after? Watch, watch me, guys. Look at that. Right after the fight. Oh, why don't we go make turret? Why don't we go make turret? Because I ain't fucking Barcy. <sighs> I'm tired of seeing you. Stupid. 
stupid fucking useless players that play this game pay mid turret. 23 minutes in this motherfucking game, we go do Baron. It's simple as that. Oh, oh we're gonna go pit. No, we're not, you dumb fox. Follow me. Look at this. Look at Baron. Boom, boom. I smited it right off the bat, thinking that we couldn't finish it in 15 seconds. Uh, but looks like we could have. This could have gone really bad. All right, boom. Uh, and look at that. Oh, my God. Two down. Make that three down. Boom. Oh, Ezra, why the fuck? Fuck did you even waste your time rotating there? You're not gonna make it in time, you dumb bitch. You could have stayed here and stayed bot farmed all this and got a tower to make up for that struggle. Doesn't. Doesn't. And this is this is a big blow to them. Aurelia, Morgana started this little fight in mid when they should have backed off. We would have never got Baron, and of course this game would have turned out different. But it didn't. I called the Baron, we get the Baron. Now we can start working on these outer turrets. And even out this fight was a 5 to 6k gold lead. But after every little fucking, you know, objective that enemy team would pick up, they would end up throwing a couple kills back to us. So that advantage they picked up besides the objective was made up. And, uh, yo, yo, fuck off my stream. Man. I don't ever want to see you in my stream ever again, alright? Alright, I want you to leave my stream, you dumb bitch. The fuck out of here. You dumb bitch. Senior here trying to teach you cage. You're telling me to shut the fuck up. Alright, so getting back to the game. Baron buff means that we get the wrong, we get to do this. We get to do whatever the fuck we want to do. Well, I do. That's what, I, that's my, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck what my teammates does. Alright, so here's another thing. We just picked up Baron. Now, I'm going to put it in directed camera now because it's not even worth watching me. Uh, we're going to watch the whole game. Now, this is, this is the game. This is called Control. Now, there's all types of control starting from the very get-go, but we're going to work on... On this type of control where, you know, we got the Baron, we got the Super Minions in hand. And what are they, what is the enemy team thinking right now? What are they thinking, guys? Let's see. A GP's, GP's uh, way overextended against a Nocturne. Alright, so Nocturne chilling, looking to bait Morgana. But why even try to fucking bait that lane? Pops his R. Looks like he catches GP. One, two, three. Just instantly flies onto him. True Shot Barrage is going to pick up that kill. So there, there you go, guys. Uh, we look, look at him. So... Look right now. Look, look. So, if you're sitting here watching this, um, like from the stream, from the live stream, and then me, I know what the enemy team is doing right now. They have a caddy wave. They have a caddy wave. And that caddy wave, they're going to rush it down mid to try to take this turret against a barred up uh, blue, my team, um, and they're trying to push this wave as fast as possible. And the double gat comes out. And somebody needs to tank this. And look at that. So the three melees got taken out. And there's the Hodokin. And just like that, all my team has to do is sit back and relax. 90% of the time, guess what your team's going to do? They're going to engage onto them. Me, I avoid looking to try to fight this, especially with no towers taken on our side. But look at this. Now start to look at the gold. And the gold right now. 48 to four, 53. I don't know what the, what it changes, but we're about to find out. Can I hit play? Look at this. <laughs> hey, guys. We're going to get this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this shit. What up? Later, bitches. Just like that. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five, chasing me. Now watch my teammates. Watch my teammates, guys. Look at them. Oh, God. Oh, hell, hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. That's somebody that's what I think. Goes, oh, hell, Buddha. Okay, hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha. Hell, Buddha right now. Help right now. Boom. I instantly pinged him mid. See, like, don't fuck. What are you going to do for me? What are you going to do for me? Show up and die for me? No, I don't need that right now. And I decided to buy runic echoes. Uh, and of course I need this caddy. I will drop the smite onto it. I get 60 movement speed when killing a motherfucking unit. Try keep dropping stuns. One, two, three, four, four. And look at Nocturne. It's the only smart motherfucker here. He knows what the fuck I'm doing. Look at the damage that I'm taking. We running. Oh yeah, there's a little bit more farm. Clean that up. Now here my teammates need the back. But if they, if they feel like they can fight with the GP ulti on top, hey, I'm all for it. But I'm not going to go over there and fight them. Look at bot stacked up. We have no towers taken. But look at the gold lead, boys. Look at the gold lead. It's 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 getting there. Uh oh, it's almost tied up. They had a five to six k gold lead. Oh shit, I farm all this. Oh shit, I farm all that. Oh shit, I farm all this. 
Oh shit, we have the gold lead. Oh shit, the swing is real. Oh shit, I pick up a blue buff. Oh shit, Ezreal just died. Oh shit, he's about to die once a motherfucking again. Boom, flame. And here, I know I got spikes to hit, so I'm gonna go back and buy some items. Oh yeah, we're gonna buy the rot. Rot's gonna make it where, you know, me going in between the turrets. Easy life. Alright, another dragon is up. Now the enemy team, now my teammates. Let's watch my teammates again. So I'm chilling. A dragon's about to spawn. Enemy team wanted it. If well, I saw Ezra. I thought there might be more, but look, my uh, you know, I, we got a, I pinged all three lanes, I think maybe about five minutes ago in the game. Slap that bitch. Walk away. Create distance between Morgana so I can't get fucking CC two times in a row because I don't want to. And then I'll come pick up this dragon. And boom, run down, uh, back down bot. Stay in your own fucking lane. Drop the rot. Tank the fucking tower so that my big rot doesn't go down. Ignore Morgana, stay on this side so that, well, of course, she, she needs to focus on trying to kill the minions first. She drops ulti on me. And do the opposite, as you can see, we're going to do a little flame. She Okay, she's walking this way because her teammates are right over there. So I'm going to say, okay, later, bitch. And just like that, look at them. And then, boom, I'll, I'll take more options away from the enemy team by pushing this wave out. Come pick up some uh, Krugs. Ezreal overextended, and then boom, I walk up to the side, and I pretty much say finish him, Mortal Kombat style. Let my fucking uh, teammates do it, back, and then come back out, and are we going to do Baron? Enemy team thinks we're going to do Baron? No, we're not going to do Baron today. Not right now, not when we have control of this game. We are going to sit and relax, and just push the fucking lanes out, and get everything they own. And here we go, so watch the enemy team. One, two, drop a little disrespect, look at him. Okay, we got one, two so far. Make that three. Make that four with Morgana in the back line. Flash the fucking Zyra ulti, look at that. Just like that. But my teammates are pushing down bot, and they're bringing a the wave. I like that, that my team is actually bringing a wave uh, to the enemy team uh, inhibitor. Uh, what that signifies is that they're smart. If there was like three waves stacked up on the enemy team going towards our turret, I'd be fucking tilted because there's nothing. I mean, even though the inhibitor is down, you just don't lie. You don't. Just don't do that. Just don't know that because if Aurelia, if your whole team gets Ace, what if she has teleport, she ports in, and then ends up getting towers. But yeah, it, it just looks better. Just pushing lanes out because, you know, it's gold, and you get experience from it. And then boom, Nocturne, not able to catch me. Keep walking with him. Stutter step. And right here, with all, everyone on my team, you know, about to go for this inhibitor, it's probably going to start a Royal Rumble. This is the time I want the Royal Rumble to throw down, especially when I have my rod up. So I usually don't just drop my rot unless it's really bad. If, if there are moments where I feel like I can breach, I want to have it uh, in, in my inventory. So when shit like this is going down, I drop the rot right behind me. And look at this. But looks like my team did fairly well. GP ulti is probably broken as fuck right now. And boom. And here, I don't look to try to end. I told you I wanted you to send a message. Sending that message, we're just going to run it straight down mid. And then I'm going to take this inhibitor tower. And now we can do Baron. We can go back, spend some gold, of course, pick up our blue buff. And back. I mean, it's so simple when you actually get to watch a fucking game where it's like, okay, it's, you know, you're thinking what the enemy team's thinking and all the other stuff. It's so fucking simple. You guys, I guess, maybe just don't use your brains, you know, just, just brainstorm. You don't think what the enemy team's thinking. You only think about what you're thinking or how bad your teammates are doing. But that's just the way it is. And this, this applies to every single fucking role that you play. I don't care what role you play. I don't care if you're a support main. As long as you understand what you need to do, you know, in the later parts of the game when it comes to winning it, then it's not a big problem. But when you don't understand the game, you get mad and you get frustrated and you want to uninstall, you want to break shit, then, yeah, that's, that's your struggle right there. You know, you... You just got to learn the ways of the breach, man, you know. Uh, like, for instance, I look at Noct... What do we What do we think when we see Nocturne's built? What the fuck? Well, that doesn't make sense. Now, a Randuin's Black Cleaver Devourer would actually have been better than that fucking build. I just don't like the Triforce. I feel like it's useless. I mean, trying to be a champion, you're not. You're not fucking who there. You're just not who there. Um, but if you can carry the game with that build, then yeah. But I think Blade would have been better. Uh, but we're able to win this fight just like that. Oh yeah, and my enemy, uh, my Lucian that went was like one in five at the start of the game is now nine in five. 
I forced the enemy team, I forced the enemy team to make uh, decisions that were really bad. But the only the only thing I didn't like calculate is how strong my team was. Well, I can understand that GPLT always could turn it a fight around when it comes to making it rain on his team if he's getting jumped on. Yes, that's understandable. Plus the the little fucking fireball that the soul has. But regardless of all that, didn't care because I was just just gonna do my own thing. I should probably look and see, you know, those fights where they're fighting and all that stuff, but I, I just didn't care. Because, you know, I had this game in my hands. And that's the difference between, you know, understanding the ways of the gates and not understanding them. Um, yes, and a Nocturne build, the Aurelia build, you saw the level difference. And the Ezreal, Ezreal's like, hey, look at me. At the start of the game, they all probably, look at me, man. Ezreal, I see, it's so cute. I can do back, I got nine flashes. Yeah, fuck you, you little fucking cuck-ass champion. I fucking hate the champion. But look what happens now. See, when they get too cocky, you know, you always got to, you know, breach the ways of the minds of both, uh, you know, your teammates and the enemy team. A lot of times when you see me on stream, I'm not thinking like that. But, you know, I played one game and, you know, I just went at it. But if your mind's not in the right, right place when trying to breach, stay stuck. Yeah, down, bitches. All right, we're going to go to a short commercial break, guys. Everybody do the tilt dance. Peace, light. Hi coach, going to rape some bronzies now, thank YDB, love ya. Yo, guys, can somebody send me an invite, if possible? I'd appreciate it. The Death Ninja, thank you for the 13 months. Afro Buddy, uh, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. And uh, Hardens, a bomb, nasty. Ollie, thank you for the 420. Switch UK, thank you for the seven months. Blop, thank you for the 33 months. And Snake, yes, you can talk to them about the uh, talk to Nips. I hope you did that. Can somebody send me an invite, though, on King Trick? Alright, this is the next game that's about to go down. The other game that's about to go down will be the Platinum Plub Wars. Plebs versus subs are back, guys. Um, Alright, so the Ruins and Masteries I'm going to show for the My Way are going to be here. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click Ruins, and this is what I use for that game. You don't have to run this page if you don't have the movement sequence. Remember this? Run when this. the flame left now is back. No. Okay, well, actually, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run flat. So you have a little bit more HP to maybe look to try to gank a lane like I did in my game. So yes, yeah, so you can run this or run page 5. And then my mastery is simple. Back to the scales. We want a little bit of scaling. You can go frozen heart and triforce first. Triforce first means you're dominating and the game's already over. And you know what the fuck you're doing to breach the gates like I did that game. If you have any questions down below, I'll try to... I think what I'm going to do is like like get, get like all the top questions for the gates. Uh, and then uh, put them in the next video. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I guess I'll just like skip, you know, like take the top comments. So if you guys see a question in the, this My Way video, just upvote it. Um, and But yeah, that's it. Simple as that. Enjoy. <clears throat> All right, while they're getting that shit started, let's uh let's pop up uh H1Z1. <laughs> <laughs> 